Welcome to Mom's Town Live. We're back with Michelle. We were just talking about the obstacles of being in direct sales. I think it's because women are emotional entrepreneurs oh. and they feel good about their business and bad about their business five times a day. Exactly. And that's why they need to pick me up all the time. They do. And that's why yeah. the support calls that you give and the training calls are yes. so and it's normal. critical. Normal. And not to feel bad if you feel yeah, like you're nature. on that roller coaster no. or if you get feel like you're, you're needing a little pick me up. Because people get that when they go into an office. Oh, yeah. And and a lot of times, because consultants are by themselves. They're not yes. in an office. Right. There's right. no one to There's bounce toddlers off. toddlers a lot of times. So yeah. they're not, they don't have the, you know, someone to bounce off with. And so, like, in our company and other direct selling companies, you're put under and, um, you know, you have uh, somebody above you. You're, you have an upline sponsor who's somebody who is like your mentor who will always be there and you kind of call them and you can chat with them and say, I need help. And you really need yeah. to tap into that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them feel like maybe they shouldn't, but they have to remember that that person above them is, they they succeed when you succeed, so they want to help you. It's a team. It's a team. Yeah, because yes, they're right. earning on what you're, what you're doing. So they... They want to be there to help you also. And so we also have some of the benefits of direct selling. Oh, yeah. This Let's show is these. about the benefits of direct yeah. selling. So if we can pull up those um, graphics, we could take a look because you see this in your business, right? Oh, yeah. Huge. The, the reason why people go into direct selling? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They want to be their own boss. They want to go and do what they want and make the money they want. And then they have the freedom and flexibility. They want to be able to go to their kids' soccer games. They want to be able to, you yes. know, do what they want to do. Volunteer in class. Exactly. All that stuff. Well, and it's a business on the run, too. Yes. You yes. know, if you have a cell phone. Oh, yeah. You're driving with a headset. Yeah. You know. With a headset, you're, yeah. You're doing business yeah. right there. Well, yeah. Like, you could be at your kids' soccer game sitting in sidelines with all other moms. And, like, for us, somebody will say, where did you get that picture frame necklace? And then you say, oh, I represent Michelle Barada at home, and I I sell it. You know, why don't you have a party? You could get it for free. And then you open up your trench coat and you show yeah, exactly. All it's all on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Over here and over here. Yeah, Sounds exactly. Like boom. What you like? Business again on the sideline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're going out exactly. to dinner tonight. I just well, saw her yeah. sell a necklace. And not. To, I mean, it's not just about freedom and flexibility, but it's also the fact that hey, you can make money. Yes, you can make and money. And it's okay. To yes. say that you want to make money. Exactly, exactly. And the sky's the limit. You can make whatever you want. Whatever you put in is what's going to come out. And that's the magic. That's what mm -hmm. Andy was saying in the other segment. Yeah. You know, if you're treating it like a business, you're making the calls, you're doing what you're supposed to be yeah. doing. And I have a friend who is in a skincare mm -hmm. direct sale. She yeah. says, all I do is mention the business to five people a day. That's, that's what you're supposed all I to do. do. That's what you're supposed so to do. Am I smart? Well, she was yeah. smart. But that's what you're supposed to do. That's one of the things that you that we teach and other companies teach. It's just you need to talk about it. And so five, it's like you get out your you know your phone and you talk to five people a day and you chat about it. And the thing is, is that it's so easy. And like for us, you have okay. Imagine you have a party, and our average parties are eight hundred dollars, and a consultant makes twenty five percent. So they've just made you know a couple hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars in for a couple having hours. friends over. And the average party is an hour and a half. So and that's. You know what? Are you gonna do that once a week? What What do you want to make? You want to make a thousand dollars? Have four parties in a month, because the average is eight hundred. Most of them are over a thousand. You know. Nice. So it's so well, you can do whatever you want. This is the other thing too that we always are talking with moms about is that don't feel guilty about wanting to make money. Yes. And mm -hmm. and making money. Exactly. We, we, oh, you know, I yeah. don't know why we do that. Well, because you don't want to really kind of put that out there. You kind of want to just, oh, I'm just doing it only because I just want to, you know, hang out with people. But really, you do want to make some cash. Well, there is this yeah. distinct yeah. difference. Want to go shopping. Yeah. 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 The, the woman who treats it like a business versus the woman who treats it like a hobby. Mm -hmm. Total different attitude. Totally. Not that she's not equipped mm -hmm. with the same skills right. that... She just hasn't applied herself. Right. And that could be turned around like that. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's why training is important. And you want to come to the training. Because even if you think you know it, you should still come to the trainings. Because the trainings, you'll, you, you have to think of also the people that you may be supporting, like on a downline. You want to come to the training so you could teach them, you know, like from their perspective. I really never thought about it that way. And then you also want to have training from outside of your host company, like our company. You may want to go, you know, there's other companies, like there's the DSWA, which is the Direct right, Selling right. Women's Alliance. And they have huge amount of trainers. All the top trainers are there, and they're 
all their classes there for you to use. Well, and it boils down to if you want to be successful, you got to surround yourself with success with successful yes, people. Exactly. What am people I doing who, with you? I know. <laughs> you are so lucky, lady. All right, and also in direct sales, if we go back to the tips and the graphics mm -hmm. about the benefits, is that anyone can truly succeed. Anybody can succeed. I think so. Yeah. And there are so many motivational books. I think there's even one in the the bookstore and networking. Okay. Um, you think there's one? One book. There's only <laughs> one book in the whole section of the bookstore. There's like no, there's a zillion of them. <laughs> there's a, a lot million. of speakers and motivation. Yeah. yeah. Put on yeah. a good song that you can dance to and make a phone call and you'll make a smile. Yeah, exactly. And so smile when you're on the phone. Smile. Yeah. It changes in a second. Yeah. But truly, anyone can succeed wherever they are. Mm -hmm. Wherever they are. I mean, you can be in Kansas. You could be in the little rural town in, you know... Minnesota. Well, mm -hmm. What is really exciting is the fact that you give them a website. Yes. A turnkey website. Because a lot of yes. people say, oh my gosh, I'm going to have an online presence. Mm -hmm. If you're handing that to them, yep. look how that pretty is, that is. Yep, that's our website. Awesome. And you can also, um, I mean, you get this also. And you're, and see, we also have where we have live support every day. So people who can click all the time and chat and ask questions. Now, what do you wow. think is the ratio of online sales versus party sales? I'd say it's half and half. Really? Yeah. Well, that website's working for you while you're sleeping. Yeah. I'd Cha -ching. say. I'd say it's like we like for us. We get a you know a lot of online sales, and then but you have to be telling people they're not going to just find your website. So of you course, have you to have be to telling market people. it. You do. Yeah. It's not like they're just going to find you. You know. So you have to really tell people, and um, we have different tools on also having web parties. So you may have, you know, your sister in Iowa and you're in Texas. And they can have a party, they can have a catalog party, but we have it where you have it on the web, you know, where you can do a web party. Nice. You know? so, Isn't technology cool? I love technology. Yeah. It, when, really it, love when it works. A lot of, when it works, when exactly. It, but it really has opened up a lot of doors. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Because also, like, everything we do is computer-based. We don't, we no papers. We exchange no paper. Emails, PDFs. Yeah. Everything, everything. Yeah. Every, you, you put your orders right online. You know, we get them. We, you, nothing's sent to us. Nothing's on paper. Saving paper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so they can go to shopmichelle.com. Mm -hmm. One L. One L, but if you do two, it's still going to get still there. It's still going to go there. So, yeah. We do have one other thing that I think oh, is really this. interesting, this is though. Interesting. We had some other statistics about mm -hmm. the profiles of the people. Oh, yeah. And so if is Curtis wants to do this, show me the numbers. Curtis there in the back? Yeah, because they, this is you. This is your this demographic, right? Totally my demographic. This is exactly my demographic. It's all, women, you know, more than 80% female, 71% are over 35 years old, and married, and college educated. Okay, so direct sales is not just about people who don't have college educations. This, no. These are smart women yeah. doing smart business. And that may have decided, you know, when they had children, they're going to stay See, at home. See, it's perfect for them. But now they want to go back and do something, but they don't want to go back to corporate America. So they spend less than 20 hours a week on their business. Exactly. Again, I'm quitting because we spend more time on our show. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you, but yeah. that statistic is also, there's another case in point where yeah. if you want to succeed in business, you have to treat it like a business and not like a hobby. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. But if you're yeah. excited about the business, you're going to take the time and you're going to do it. Oh, yeah, because your passion, if right. you're passionate about something, people feel that. Yes. And they want to be surrounding you, you know. And I think also, what I, well, here we are. We're getting ready to go into a break again. Go to shopmichelle.com and take a look at the jewel. I mean, it's beautiful because what I also think about is the personalizing it and putting your kids' pictures. Yeah. And every, I just think it's a great line. Thank it's fabulous. You. And we think that you're wonderful. Thank and we you. wish you all kinds of more success. <laughs> you too. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. me. We'll be right back on Mom's.